Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. Uh, so guys, if you remember uh, the succulent ball that was completely destroyed and uh, in that video, I most probably thought that it was because of lack of air circulation. But guys, you know, when one succulent dies, you don't regret it much. But when it's an entire ball that you have cared for so much, uh, you can see how the plants had transformed uh, and I had given a good amount of care and then they plumped up and everything looked so beautiful. But unfortunately, this small little mistake that I did uh, was something that costed me the entire uh, arrangement of succulent. Now, I don't want you guys to make the same mistake because I'll tell you what exactly happened over here. Now, uh, I was very restless ever since that happened. I just couldn't forget what exactly happened. And then I had one of the comment wherein uh, the person said that uh, when the green shade or the net, uh, the green cloth, when it touches the succulent, uh, that also leads to burns as well. Uh, I was thinking about it over and over again and then I again went back to the place where this happened and I was just trying to understand what exactly went wrong because as far as I know it wouldn't have been only a uh, lack of air circulation because there were other succulents as well which were completely healthy but there were certain succulents that were damaged. So over here I have a small uh, presentation of how the succulents were placed that night. Now what exactly happened over here, I will also put it up on the uh, screen uh, what exactly it might have happened or what actually happened. So over here as you can see the, su the succulents were kept in a row, I will put the picture on the screen you might have seen this earlier as well. So this is how the succulents were kept. Now here I am just showing you a small example. So you can see all of these succulents, this succulent is completely burnt on the crown area. This succulent is burnt at the edges. This one is also completely burnt at the edges. Let me just show you. You can see this. Uh, it's completely burnt. Uh, this entire portion was completely burnt and the upper portion but now there is new growth. I haven't pulled out anything. I'm just letting it uh, be as it is. Uh, this is something that I've always spoken about that if you have any burns do not pull out those leaves. Just leave the just leave them as it is and uh, it will eventually dry up and fall off. Now you can see there is a lot of new growth on the crown area. Now over here as you can see this one was also affected but you can see this was not much affected compared to the others. Uh, you can see uh, the burns are only over here whereas the succulents behind are completely unharmed. In fact the succulents lower ones are also uh, pretty much all good. They do not have any burns but it's only these in the front that got burnt. Now what exactly happened is uh, I had used the plastic sheet if you remember it was raining and I had used the plastic sheet. Now the plastic sheet was uh, was not completely resting on the succulents but probably at night there was a lot of wind and probably the plastic might have shifted and the plastic fell on I mean started to rest on the succulent like let's say that this was the square piece let's say that this was the arrangement so the plastic kind of landed one two three this was the end of the plastic so the plastic was resting on the succulent over here as well the plastic was resting on the succulent but this succulent was large enough so the plastic sheet was only resting on this portion whereas the succulents that were in the middle you can see they are unharmed they are untouched they are looking perfect there are no burns whatever on them they are absolutely healthy this one and even the other one you can see it's completely healthy the reason is because the plastic never touched these guys uh, the the plastic was like sloping so the plastic was only resting on the succulents that were in the front but over here the plastic was high enough from the succulents so these succulents do not come in contact with uh, the uh, plastic now what happened is the plastic cover from outside even though uh, it gets wet but because of the uh, external factors like wind sunlight uh, the water evaporated so the plastic from outside was dry but the succulents inside because there were so many succulents you might have seen on the picture i'll again put the picture on the screen you can see the amount of succulents that were inside the plastic now because it was night, the succulents started to do their photosynthesis, which is they started to do the exchange of gases, due to which there was a lot of condensation inside the plastic. And 
there was water inside the plastic now the water was not like the rain water but it was the uh, condensation the water droplets of the condensation that happened inside the plastic even though there was a good amount of air flow from both sides but still the amount of succulents and the amount of condensation all of the succulents were doing their photosynthesis at the same time so there was a lot of condensation inside the plastic now because the plastic was now because the inner side of the plastic uh, there was a lot of water droplets at around 7 am uh, the sun rays start to hit the plastic now the plastic that was resting on my succulents the ones that you're seeing that are burnt the plastic was wet from inside now it could not get dried because uh, you know it, it, it is inside the uh, inside the now because uh, this was in So now the inner part of the plastic it was not soggy wet but yes it was wet because of the condensation so that plastic that was resting on the succulents and then as i've said this earlier as well the place where the succulents were kept they receive a good amount of morning direct sunlight for five to six hours now what exactly happened is that the plastic that was wet it landed up on the succulents and because of the sun rays uh, it started to penetrate to the transparent plastic and that heat and that water that was there on the leaves the plastic was also wet that was connected that was touching onto the leaves and all of the leaves got burnt because of that water because the intensity increase remember i've said that even one small little drop of water can act like a magnifying glass and when the sun rays tend to fall on that droplet of water it acts like a magnifying glass and it tends to burn the leaves now that exactly what happened all of the leaves that were in contact with the plastic everything got burnt including that entire uh, ball of uh, succulents they were completely uh, uh, finished off now uh, probably that is one reason maybe it was complete burn as well as the shock the plant might have got into a shock and at the same time the succulent was completely burnt so that is what exactly happened uh, it was not related with the uh, lack of air circulation there was air circulation but the main reason was the wet plastic sheet uh, tend to rest on the succulents due to which all of my succulents uh, the ones that were in contact with the plastic sheet got burnt so please be very careful be it a green shade cloth or a green net or even for that matter a transparent plastic ensure that it does not touch the succulents otherwise this is what's going to happen now luckily the ones that had very less burns are uh, slowly recovering you can see this one was uh, burnt on the crown area but i didn't touch the crown area uh, now the new growth is starting to come up uh, you can see the older leaves will automatically dry up this is how the uh, leaves will dry up the ones that get burnt you can see as you can see the tip was burnt over here but then eventually the entire leaf dried out now do not pull it out uh, just leave it as it is the leaf will automatically get dried out and then probably you can pull it out but when it is still very fresh as you can see over here uh, these are still very fresh so i'm not going to pull it out i'm going to let it be as it is but the ones that i feel that are completely dried out i can slowly take them out like this uh, they will uh, with a very slight gentle pull they will come out because they are completely dry so you can take those out but do not take the ones that still have uh, that are still very fresh do not pull them out but uh, this is how it looks like now it is recovering i'm happy that at least this survived it did not get uh, damaged uh, but overall uh, most of the leaves were uh, uh, crown area leaves were burned but that's absolutely fine as you can see there is going to be new growth once they start to open up and the new leaves start to come out they are going to be much fresh and the older ones that are affected will eventually dry out and fall off and the good part is that it is uh, also starting to put out a new pup which means that it is doing quite well so uh, now guys again i have uh, experience with putting up plastic on the succulents i never had issue i will put the clip of my earlier setup wherein i used to use the plastic sheet but you will be able to see there how i have used that plastic i have used some sticks in between the pots so that the plastic is elevated and doesn't come in contact with the succulents and i never had that issue so in my older place i was able to understand them much better because i was aware about the surrounding here i just shifted recently and i was not very sure how things are going to work out so this was a big mistake that i made now what i feel is that if i wouldn't have used that plastic sheet that night probably the succulents would have survived they would have got wet but they would have still survived i made a big mistake by letting by putting up the plastic i thought by putting up the plastic the succulents might get saved but uh, that turned out to be lethal for them so 
again guys plastic is going to work out really well but you need to understand how to set it up so that's all about it this was the most expensive mistake that i've made a lot of my succulents have suffered luckily uh, only one ball of succulent was damaged uh, rest of them uh, had a lot of uh, minor injuries but uh, they are still uh, kind of recovering now as you can see these leaves are very crisp so they will fall off uh, and the new growth is going to start coming up i'm not going to pull out these leaves as and when they dry they will automatically fall out or you can just uh, touch them they will come off very easily you can see this they will come out very easily so whenever you have burns do not touch the succulent just let it be as it is as and when the leaves will dry it will fall off so guys, I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.